this video we're going to summarise the, uh, the types of bonding that we've met in the Edexcel edition chemistry course. The first type of bonding we have met was ionic bonding, which was um, between metal and non-metal atoms. So we had metals transferring one or more electrons to non-metals, forming a positive metal ion and negative um, non-metal anion. The structure of these, they had a 3D lie structure. with alternating positive and negative ions. Because you have lots of positive and negative ions in a structure with strong electrostatic forces or ionic bonds between them, the melting and boiling point of ionic compounds is very high. It takes a lot of energy to overcome those strong forces. In terms of conductivity, ionic compounds only conduct electricity when you overcome and break those, those strong ionic bonds. To do that, you either have to melt or make molten the ionic um, compound, or you can also dissolve it. So ionic compounds only conduct electricity when molten or dissolved. Solubility, most ionic compounds do dissolve. Most do dissolve. Okay, we have met some examples which don't. Uh, if you look at our solubility rules video, you will um, see those, but most ionic compounds do dissolve. The second type of bonding we need to talk about here is simple covalent, okay, or covalent bonding to form simple molecules. And these were between non-metal atoms. For example, you could have H2O. The structure of these, we have individual molecules and between those molecules we had very weak intermolecular forces. In order to melt or boil um, a simple covalent compound, all we need to do is overcome those weak intermolecular forces. So generally simple covalent compounds have low melting and boiling points. Conductivity, now there are no charged particles in these, so simple covalent structures do, do not conduct. Um, and again, since there are no uh, charges, simple covalent uh, compounds generally do not dissolve in water. Some of them do, but in general they do not. Okay, third type of bonding we need to talk about is um, giant covalent. And again, this is going to happen between non-metals. For example, diamond and graphite are both made of carbon atoms. They're both different forms of carbon. They are non-metal atoms. Structure, we get a giant covalent lattice. Okay, so we have lots and lots of car um, for diamond and graphite's um, example, lots and lots of carbon atoms, all very strongly bonded together with strong covalent bonds, forming a giant lattice structure. Okay, there are no individual molecules, there are no intermolecular forces. In order to melt graphite or diamond, we need to break all of those strong um, covalent bonds. They have extremely high melting and boiling points. Conductivity depends. Diamond doesn't, silicon dioxide doesn't, graphite does. So most don't. Graphite does. Solubility. They do not dissolve in water. Okay, the final type of bonding um, we need to know about is metallic bonding. Uh, between, pretty obvious, metals, so metal atoms, um, structure, we get a another lice, 
Okay, but this time we have got positive metal ions surrounded by a C of delocalized electrons. Relatively important points. Since there are lots of these um, electrostatic forces, again, we've got lots of positive metal ions, we've got lots of delocalized electrons. Metals generally have high melting and boiling points. Conductivity, because we've got charges that are able, that are able to flow, we've got these delocalized electrons, they do conduct electricity and they do conduct heat as well. Solubility, metals that do not dissolve in water. So that is a summary of um, our four types of bonding. I'll try and uh, spend a few minutes learning this, cover it up, see if you can write it out from scratch. You will often be given a question in exam where you have a table with lots of different compounds in it. It will give you things like melting point, boiling point, solubility. You need to be able to say um, this particular compound has simple, a simple covalent structure because. Okay, so um, write this out, uh, cover it up, see if you can remember it.